So necklaces and rings both end in God's great name, us. Necklaces gets us at the dead center too, which is amazing. Okay. So now you understand who take who owns all the world's necklaces and all the word world's rings. Now I'm gonna so both of those parallel us parallels father because you can see that the word neck um, all caps you can see that the word neck divides by three. Okay, and then the R I in front of rings divides by three. Okay, and then but what's amazing is that you get the U S in order. Okay, here's your U. And then there's your S. Okay, so God, the great us, owns all the world's necklaces and all the world's rings. So here's the us right there, here's the us, and all this divides by three. This is 33, and this is 27, three times three times three. So if you want uh, some necklaces in your life or some rings in your life, you might want to ask the great us for them. And he is capable of materializing them out of thin air if he wants. But usually he uses people to accomplish all this. Okay, there you go. So, there you go. Necklaces and rings have been solved for the great us. So what I'm doing now is I'm searching for 40s and all these um, famous words of items that we know to be precious, valuable. Okay, so us is the beginning of the word pearl. Okay. Um, very nice. Um, a precious pearl. So us is the ending of the word precious and the beginning of the word pearl. A precious pearl for us, from us, for us. Um, pearls, diamonds, rubies. You can solve all the names of all the precious stones. The only us in rubies is the US. Um, and the rest equals one. Rubies equals Jesus. Isn't that good? Rubies equals Jesus equals one us. The gold is in the streets, folks. It's all the personal names of God everywhere. Rubies, rubies equals one us equals Jesus. I wouldn't recommend arguing with who owns all the rubies unless you want to argue with Jesus who can kill you. Um, not a good idea. Don't make Jesus unhappy. You will go to hell. True story. Um, so rubies equals Jesus equals one us. Uh, go ahead, use the computer to find all of God's titles in all of the precious stones. You will be amazed. Sapphires. Yeah, there's a lot of 40s in there. Um, so cool. Um, what else can we search for? Um, how about the word person? Yeah, P-E-S. Ooh, God made you special. Us. Oh, that's good. Now the word special is coming to light. You see, God made you special. S-P-E. There's your us. And then, um, specials. Okay, cool. Spectacular, the great us. A person, S-P-E. And then uh, you got your leftovers there on oh, 29. Interesting. I would say persons, personality. Okay. What other famous words can we find 40 in us? Um, hmm. I know the king. How about kings? Plural. Oh, of course. Us is on the end of kings. 20 equals able. Us, kings, the three gods are kings. So ings are easy. How about children? Everyone loves children. Yeah, there's some beautiful 40s in children. Ooh, yeah, you can get the US in order. And then what's left over? Because children parallels us, parallels father. So what's left over? Um, a very tidy. 12 plus 12 plus 9. 33. So children equals, oh my gosh, yeah. Children equals the us. Equals us, all men. That's one for the history books. Um, so children equals the us. Equals us, all men.
as in God. So who who owns your children? Do you? No. The us does. The God does. Your children don't belong to you. They belong to God. They didn't belong to you ever. Parents have a real problem these days. Parents think that children belong to them. And then children grow up with an identity crisis saying, who, who do I belong to? Do I belong to my company? My spouse? No, you belong to God. Children equals the us. Children. Uh, what other famous words can we get on the table? Um, uh, hmm. oh, souls contains us. And man became a living soul. There's S-U, of course. That's glaring. Who created your soul? Well, clearly the us did, because soul is us plus three times three times three. And who is the us? Well, three gods. There, that's that's a sermon all by itself. It just preaches. Soul equals us plus half love. Three times three times three. L-O. Who created you? Well, clearly the great us did. The, the Trinity. Done. Someone had to create your soul, the eternal part of you that lives forever. Your soul is us plus three times three times three. Yeah, who created it? Well, clearly the us did. God. What other important words are there that we can find us in? 40. Spirit. Let's give, let's give that a whack. It does not have 40. Um, we know heart is in there. How about body? I know it does. It's the O Y. Um, how about oxygen? Ooh, yeah, the O Y in oxygen, just like the O Y in I. So there's your us in oxygen. And then you have the G E N equals God. Amazing. Oxygen. Us plus 50, which is vine. Boy, yo yo, us us. Um, oh, nitrogen. We know that gen equals God, but yeah, there's screaming 40s in there. Ah, cool. Who created your toes? Toe equals us. The great us. Um, Let's let's get lovely here. Uh, paradise. Oh yeah. Paradise equals the us. Pared equals us. There's a lot of ways to pull it out, but that's glaring. The root is pared up until the D, so you can say paradisical. Paradise is. Paradise equals us. Oh man. Equals the us. That's it. That's who you're going home to. You're going home to the us, God. Paradise equals the us. Now there's a ton of famous 73 words, okay, that equal the us, like the word orgasm, and that's in order. Orgasm is the us, and orgasm is the definition of two people as close as possibly can be, the climax of sex, and that's, of course, when the babies get created, and then you have three people instead of two. So that's a huge revelation. In order, the word orgasm equals the us. There it is. Well, who, who designed all this? Who ordained these words? To be, well, the great us did. Father. So O-R equals the. Gasm equals us. G-A-M equals you. S equals S. There it is. Done. It's this great name, us. Now you're getting technical and getting detailed. Which, so words like um, heaven contains us. And it parallels us. H-E-V-E. -E. And then you get bonus 15, which is less overs. If you say heavens, now you get heavens equals Jesus, which is us, one. Genius. Now you know why you learn spelling. The word sperm begins with us. It's that famous SPE, God made you special, using a very specific sperm that he ordains to hit the target. 
a very specific special sperm created special you. <laughs> SPE equals us. Um, amazing. Um, what else can we find 40 in? Um, zygote, it's the end of the word zygote. Zygote is father, father us. That's disturbingly awesome. And zygote is what we call, we refer to as the first, um, you know, cell of a new baby. The zygote is the first cell. So zygote equals father us. Two of the greatest titles of God in order and very conveniently efficient. Zyg is like the fastest way possible you can make father. Father requires at least three letters to reach 58, and zyg is irresistible. Zygote. It's two syllables. So slice it in half. Like It's irresistible. I mean, the word zygote starts with Zed, which equals God. You know, so you're really paying attention. But pay attention to Zed words, like the equal God. So zygote. That's the first U. That's the first cell. Cell equals life. Zyg. Father. Boat. Us. Like the great title of God. Amazing. What other famous words will we find this great 40 in? Um, embryo. Oh, that ends in yo, which is us. So embryo and zygote have the same ending. Us. It's all coming to light. Um, as it should. Thank God our days of darkness are over. Um... Infants, yeah, it's in there. Offspring, offsprings would finish in it. Um, okay, we, we've really hit it out of the park on this us business. Any force the U.S. Um, supernatural. Oh yeah, so now supernatural goes to us. It starts with S.U., which is us, and then the rest is pure threes. What is that rest? Natural equals truth, I believe. Yeah, so supernatural is us plus pure threes, like this giant pearl necklace of threes. The supernatural us. Superman, we say. Us, us, us. The us, God Almighty. Quintus Aurelius. 